all i will take the switch okay and we can take some pc this is a pc1 pc2 he or the laptop1 laptop2 we can create the different area here okay let me take the cable i will take the cable here i will connect this here and then i will connect this here this here and if you i if i want to put the some area here i can put so we can differentiate easily which vlan where example this one here and let me take the different color for this different vlan here okay so just i am dividing here so by seeing we can know we can say this pc belongs to which vlan here i can write this is a vlan 10 okay vlan 10 i can write here vlan 10 and ip is subnet we are going to use here 10 dot 10 dot 1 will be gateway okay 10 dot 1 will be gateway here i can write this is a vlan 20 vlan 20 and here ip subnet we are going to use 192 168 20.1 as a gateway okay and we can give the name also like it or any name if you want we can give the name also here i can say vlan 10 for 10 that is name is hr okay and here i can say this is a vlan 20 name is name is sales this way we create it now we are saying whatever ip we are going to use this should be the gateway for this machine this machine and here also this is the gateway for this computer this computer now let's do the configuration configuration is very easy and simple and basic here so what we will do here i will write here uh, in a, uh, this method uh, we can say inter vlan inter vlan lab inter vlan lab okay and the method which we are going to use we are going to use the router with separate interface SCP separate interface okay uh, so now if you see here what we will do here i will write here the configuration so this is a switch one configuration I will write here enable config t host name rsw1 and then vlan 10 just I am giving the basic stuff like vlan 10 we will give the name as a hr and then I will create one more vlan we will say vlan 20 name will be sales then we can put the interface so I will write interface range fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 I want to put this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 I need to put this both interface in this VLAN so I will write interface range F0 by 1 dash 2 and we can write switch we can write here switch port uh, switch port mode axis then we can write switch port axis VLAN 10 okay this way I put this two interface in that particular VLAN after that what I can do I can put this two interface also so let me copy the same thing I will paste here and here I can put F0 by 3 F0 by 4 so I will write here F0 by 3 and this is F0 by 4 and here should be VLAN 20 so this way I will make this two interface in that particular VLAN so we put this in the VLAN 10 this in the VLAN 20 after that they will unable to communicate so let me copy and paste this configuration in the switch so what i will do i will go inside the switch and then i will write here i can paste directly let me paste this directly here and then we can check also we will write show vlan brief if you see here we have the vlan 10 for hr and we have the vlan 20 for the sale and this is the interface this two interface in the vlan 10 and this two interface in the vlan 20 now what we can do we can we have this vlan we can assign the ip to machine let me go to this machine i will write here we can give any ip i can give 192 dot 10.10.2 .10 okay because we give 10.1 as a gateway so this should be the gateway we are saying so i give this one here if you want i will put here 10.2 this one this should be 10.3 and we will assign this 10.3 here we will go here and we will assign here this one and here we will write 10.1 okay 10.1 here 
and here also we can assign the IP we will use here 20 dot 2 okay 20 dot 2 here we will go in the desktop and we will write here here we will write 20 dot 1 just I am assigning the IP whatever we done before this is 20 dot 3 and then we will assign this IP to this machine I will go here I will assign here and this will be 20 dot 1 now we can check this guy can communicate with this guy or not okay so what we can do we can ping here we will write ping I can write here 192.168.10.3 so same VLAN they are communicating they are they both are in the same VLAN this guy and this guy in the same VLAN so they can easily communicate so no issue now I can check the other VLAN because this is different VLAN 20.1 so let me check now I will say here 20. Dot, what is that 20.2 this IP so 20.2 it is working or not let's see it will not work because different VLAN different VLAN cannot communicate we already know that one different VLAN cannot communicate we already know that so it is not working and if we check internally this two computer will work but this computer will not work with this one and this computer will not work with this one we already know that one because they are in the different VLAN okay they will not work so now we need to make the communication between different VLAN so what we will use we will use the method we can say that one traditional method that is a router with separate separate interface interface okay this one we can say this one now what we will do here we will take the router here I will take one router okay this is the router I can give the name as a R1 and what I will do configuration here I will take the cable from here I will connect from here to here okay this is the interface if you see switch is using F0 by 4 F0 by 5 router is using 0 by 0 so now what we need to do in the switch we need to put that uh, router if you see here in the switch what I can say here let me write here in the switch I need to put this port F0 by 5 F0 by 5 I need to put this port in that VLAN you need to decide example what we need to decide here we are saying this is a gateway right for all our computer this is a gateway for all our computer okay this is a gateway for all our computer this one so this IP we need to assign to this router interface if you are assigning this IP so this is a gateway for the VLAN 10 so you need to put this interface in the VLAN 10 the interface which is connecting to the switch so what we can say here let me repeat again I am saying uh, this actually all the VLAN 10 PC is having this gateway 192.168.10.1 is a gateway for all the VLAN 10 and this one we need to assign to the router interface I am assigning here this IP so this link wherever is connecting to our switch we need to check this is the F0 by 5 F0 by 5 of switch port switch port where this link is connecting that is F0 by 5 that port I need to put in this VLAN which gateway I am assigning we need to put in that VLAN so I am assigning the VLAN 10 gateway to this site so this site I need to assign the VLAN 10 so I need to assign this port as a VLAN 10 here then I will connect one more cable here and here I am assigning this IP as this router interface so this is a gateway for this computer so here this is a VLAN 20 so this link which is connecting to switch I need to put in that VLAN VLAN 20 okay so now let's do that one so what I will do here I will write here we need to check this interface which is the interface F0 by 5 only this is F0 by 5 only so I will write here interface F0 by 5 and then I will write here switch port mode axis switch port axis VLAN 10 ok and here router configuration we can do here I will write here R1 configuration enable config T 
host name r1 host name r1 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 192.168. what ip we told 10.1 right this is a gateway for all our computer so this one and then i will write here no shut this is the router configuration just i assigning the gateway ip whatever ip we give for this computer as a gateway that ip we will assign here in switch whatever interface is connecting we need to put in that vlan here i am assigning the ip this is a gateway for vlan 10 so we need to put the opposite link whatever is connecting to switch to that vlan so this is finished now i can take one more here I can connect here and I can connect here okay so this new interface is F0 by 1 and if you see this link is F0 by 6 so here what I can do I can copy this whole thing I can paste here this new link is F0 by 1 so this should be 0 by 1 and the gateway this is should but this is the gateway for VLAN 20 so here this should be VLAN 20 this link we can say this link will be for the VLAN 20 so we can assign the VLAN 20 gateway here and i will copy the same configuration and i will paste here and this new link is f0 by 6 so we will make this is f0 by 6 and here should be 20 okay so what i done i put this in the vlan 20 the link which is connecting here is the vlan 20 opposite to it is the gateway so this should be 20 right where is that one this this should be 20 so here we have the 20 f0 by 1 so what i done in short we are saying that one in VLAN 20 whatever IP we keep as a gateway that IP should assign to the interface and that inter that link is connecting to the switch that switch port should be in that particular VLAN so we make that port in that particular VLAN okay so now let me paste the configuration we will check now I will copy and I will go here I will paste here let me go in the global configuration mode now and I will paste this here I paste this here okay after that what I can do I can do the router configuration so let me copy this router configuration from here and I will paste this inside the router so let me go to the router CLI and I can paste here okay I paste this here no error nothing everything is working perfectly now we can check before the guys are unable to communicate different VLAN now they should communicate <laughs> okay because the traffic will go in this sequence if you see here traffic will go like this this way this way this way this way and this will go here and like this only they can communicate easily this way still stp is working here that's why you will have the request timeout we need to wait some time then we can check it will work okay so let me ping again if you see here it will work now okay if you see it is working now different VLAN we can communicate I am in the 10.2 but I am pinging 20.3 different subnet is it is working okay different subnet and also different VLAN if you see the other IP also it will work 192.168.20.2 this is the IP for this machine 20.2 so it is working so we can say different VLAN can communicate now how it is communicating with the help of inter VLAN we done the inter VLAN we use the method switch with separate interface with this one we can do the inter VLAN so this is the configuration configuration is simple just we are assigning the IP to the router and that particular link we need to put in the VLAN and this IP we need to assign as a gateway to that particular VLAN VLAN computers that's all okay so this one is the first method we use this one router with separate interface and it is working if you want to check you can check here also I am here I want to ping this PC so let me write here ping let me write here ping 192.168.10.2 okay if you see it is working two different VLAN can communicate before they are not communicating now we can say two different VLAN can communicate with the help of inter VLAN we done the inter VLAN okay it is working perfectly so let me stop